Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. A soggy night in South Texas and a chilly one too. These are the uh, rainfall totals up through a few minutes ago in the area and Kingsville's picked up nearly a half inch, more than that in Alice. Uh, officially about a third of an inch here in Corpus Christi, but they've had over an inch and a third in Beeville and uh, that rain continues to come down there as we saw on our weather bug camera from there moments ago. Now during the day today, isolated showers uh, here in the coastal bend, they picked up and they were heavier in southeast Texas. And look at the rainfall now in east Texas and around Houston where that's the area that could get upwards of uh, four to eight inches of rain overall. For us, the rain is coming in from the west. Some of it is heavy, but it's moving quickly, so it's not lasting too long. And also, with the front having slipped through earlier tonight, that has stabilized the atmosphere. So there's no chance, I believe, of any severe weather whatsoever. It was only a marginal chance to begin with, so that is uh, eliminated from the uh, forecast. And as you can see, there's the heavy rain in Refugio right now, all the way down to Sinton. Here in town, it's just light rain, additional activity developing south of Freer back in Duval County, headed for Jim Wells County. But as we uh, take a closer look at this, the uh, rain has temporarily ended in Beeville, but it's going to be showers off and on the rest of the night. From Skidmore right now to Sinton and right up 77 to Woodsboro and Refurio is the heaviest rain there. We go to the south. Again, we've got a little shower down here near the Noasis County, Clayburg County line. It's moving towards the city. Light rain over the city right now. And then heavier activity out here around Freer to the south. Everything moving to the uh, east-northeast pretty quickly around an upper level low out to the west. It's generating additional activity out here along the Sierra Madre, which will be passing over the coastal bend later tonight. But I don't think it's nothing that we can't handle. Flash flood watch is still out for our northern counties. Does not include Corpus Christi. As far as the uh, one to three inch possible, that's in the flash flood watch area. Higher amounts as you go north from there towards Houston, where they're getting clobbered. Heaviest rain again for us here in the city will be between now and 4 a.m. And again, I really don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. And we're going to have much cooler than normal temperatures over the weekend. Should be at 70 for the high. We're not going to see that again until uh, well into next week. Storm Prediction Center still has us just in a marginal risk of severe weather. So again, that's the way it's been. It was never slight, enhanced, or moderate. So we're good to go on that. Now the temperatures have cooled off into the 50s. The colder the atmosphere, the more stable it is. The warmer it is, the more unstable. So that's the significance of this temperature drop with that front out in the Gulf. And uh, out to the west, we still have that disturbance, again, generating these showers that will be coming at us all night long. There it is. And then once that low moves east of us, we'll get into this dry air. But it's going to take till tomorrow evening for that to happen. So the rainfall amounts, again, you can see the heaviest in Houston, north and east, and then from Houston down to Victoria. And then we're into this one and a half to two and a half inch rain over the northern parts of the coastal bend. As you can see on the rainfall amounts yet to come. So some of this is going to be a little bit heavy, but again, I think we can handle it pretty well. It'll be raining pretty good at midnight and uh, all the way through 2 a.m. That pushes off to the east. A couple lingering showers behind this in the morning, but generally around noon to 1 o'clock, it's pretty much over with. And then we're going to see a gradually clearing skies tomorrow night and throughout the day on Sunday, a whole lot of sunshine. The winds are out of the northwest right now. Again, a further indication that the front has moved through. They'll stay out of the northwest all weekend long. Here's a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast, and it looks like this across the region as we will see temperatures drop down to 50 tonight and a high of just 57 tomorrow. Again, 70 is the normal high. 42 and 59, rather chilly on Sunday, but with sunshine taking the edge off the uh, Rocky Mountain air. 39 and 65 Monday, milder Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And another Pacific front comes through Thursday night and cools us off again on Friday.